What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to our new Patreon subscribers who took the time to come and sub our Patreon and really help us make this channel. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you, Jordan Collette Kusher, Joel Sadowski, Andrew Hyde, Alex Eldridge, Eldridge uh, Mike Thiefault, and Chris Highschool. If I butchered your name, I'm very, very sorry, but I am very appreciative and very grateful that you guys took the time to uh, sub our Patreon and help us make this channel. All of that goes a long, long way to help us do this, so I really, really appreciate it. From And, and Marius does too, even though you, you, you can't see him or hear him. He, he does, maybe he can give you a thumbs up. What do you think? There you go, Marius appreciates it too. All right, today we're gonna be doing a Kuiperinho, which is a video a lot of people have been asking me to make for a very long time. And what a lot of you guys don't know is that we actually made this video for one of our uh, followers or one of our subscribers um, for his birthday uh, a little while ago. So we just made this like custom video. So it's taken me a little while to get back to it, but a lot of you guys have been asking me recently and I aim to please, so we're gonna do it today. So if you guys don't know, although some of you probably do, the Caipirinha is the national drink of Brazil and it is made with Brazil's national spirit, cachaça. Uh, cachaça is basically Brazilian rum. The difference between um, most rum and cachaça is that cachaça is made with fresh sugarcane juice, just like rum agricole, uh, and not from molasses, the byproduct of sugar making, which is what most rum is made from. So it's got those earthy, sort of grassy, light, uh, kind of fragrant flavor to it, uh, and it is really brilliant. So the caipirinha, which is what we're doing today, is the national drink. Uh, of Brazil. Nobody knows exactly when it came about, although according to Jim Meehan, um, a historian by the name of Philip Genuzzi uncovered a, a document written by civil engi engineers in 1856 uh, during a cholera epidemic in the in Parate, which is the cachaça producing region of Brazil, and it's like in between uh, Sao Paulo and um, Rio de Janeiro. Uh, that's what I got for you. I'm gonna do uh, I've, I already have, actually. Marius loves to bust me on this, but uh, if you look at the show notes, uh, there will be a, a better, more concise history. There is uh, a bunch of dates that were floating around. I just picked the most likely one or the one that I liked, but I will give you a little bit deeper of a dive, so definitely go look there and stuff and things. Let's get into making it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to cut off the ends of the slime and we're going to cut it into quarters and... We're just gonna cut away the pith of the lime. So we don't want that pith in there. Just, we don't need that pith, we don't want that pith. So we're just gonna cut it away and be very careful not to cut ourselves while we do it. All right, so just, there we go. Get rid of it. All right, cool. Then what we're gonna do is wipe our hands on our Staggerly Goods apron, and we're gonna do one good bar spoon of super fine sugar. And then what we're gonna do is add the, um, add the lime in, but pith, so you're gonna do it peel side down. The reason why is because you want to juice the lime and press the peel without you know, really getting a lot of bitterness out of that pith. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to look creepily over there and realize that we uh, don't have our jigger. So we're just going to get it because how can we measure something without a jigger? That's what you guys were thinking. Half of you guys were like, eh, he forgot his jigger. All right. So what we do is we're going to lightly muddle into the sugar. And then we're simply just gonna add two ounces of cachaça. And then we're just gonna add our ice cubes. And give it a stir.
and we're going to put that back in. Now, my ice has been sitting for a little bit, and it took me a little while to sort of get this um, history done and stuff like that, so it was a little bit wet, so I don't really need to stir it for too much longer. And there we have it, my friends, um, the Kuiperina. Let's take a little sippy and see what it's all about. Mm. So obviously it's going to be very tart and you get that balance from the sugar, but you also get these like really awesome grassy sort of banana style notes uh, from the, from the cachaça. The cachaça has this sort of almost like a lemongrass and sort of banana feel to it that really, and then you've got like, you know, the tartness and acid from the lime and it just followed up by that little sugar pop. Now, obviously because we used, um, because we used uh, super fine sugar, that sugar is going to dilute as you drink. So as you drink, this cocktail is going to go from more tart to sweeter and sweeter as you go. And, uh, you know, I forgot to mention also that this, that a lot like, let's say hot buttered rum, uh, or a hot toddy, uh, this was used, um, in back in its day as a, um, as a remedy for the common, for common ailments, for the common cold and whatnot. And I, it's so good that I can't stop drinking it. It's just, you know, just the balance between the lime and the cachaça is just brilliant. So there you have it, my friends, the Kuiperinia. I will see you guys in the next time. If you guys want to be like those brilliant people that I mentioned ahead of time, check out our Patreon at educatedbarfly.com. Oh, no, that's not true. It's actually patreon.com backslash. No, not even a backslash. I get busted on that too. It's patreon.com slash the Educated Barfly. Uh, definitely check out our uh, apron sponsor, sponsor Staggerly Goods and um, uh, Barfly Mixology Gear, who does all our tools. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, check out our Instagram, at The Educated Barfly, and I will see you next time. Until then, live long and prosper.